All right, driverless car convention. Oh, conversation. Uh, dear Billy, front wheel drive in the snow. I work for an engineering firm that has a big contract with a large tech company. We work on a small part of driverless technology. I won't get into the weeds, man, of the tech or the problems, but I would like to comment on something that hits close to home with you. Nerds. Those evil nerds you talked about years ago are out of control. You are way ahead of your time on this one, uh, Billy Bright Idea. These guys come to conferences and investor meetings, and they espouse the most maniacal shit. To put it simply, they speak about the world as if it were their spare bedroom, and they want to redecorate. Isn't that fascinating? Because nerds have really been, like, glamorized. They're, they're like these harmless fucking people. Um, you know, and I think they can affect more people than a meathead, where a meathead just sort of destroys what's in front of them. And these guys, nerds can reimagine a whole fucking society here. Uh, this one guy came in and started telling everyone that choice was a privilege and that tech is going to remove that choice for the greater good. To hearken back to last, I mean, what in the fuck? I mean, that is just, an, that's one of the most insane things I've ever heard. And it, as, as always, that's why I'm telling you, stand-up comics are, are, are a, a, a distraction. All of this shit where they get offended by stand-up comedy and comedy late night and films and shit, it's all just a fucking distraction. Choice was a privilege. And that tech is going to remove that choice for the greater good. To hearken back to last week's email on the topic, you will have no choice but to ride in a self-driving car and take the route it wants you to take. Joyriding would be a thing of the past. It's not just private nerds, it's the government too. They have their hands in how all of this will get rolled out. Fuck these nerds. Driverless cars would be amazing for people who can't operate a vehicle due to disability or age, which is why I don't completely hate my job. But forcing it on everyone is fucked up shit, Bill. Love you. Love the podcast. Um, yeah, and the bottom line is, is if the fucking politicians can line their pockets enough with it, they'll tell us that it's a good thing. And uh, I don't know. I don't think that that's something that you can sell. Uh, I, like, I feel like the right, that's going to be hard for them all to get on board with that. You know what I mean? You take the average like fucking redneck out there. I mean, that guy can turn a lawnmower in, into a fucking a, a usable car. I mean, those, those guys are amazing. So, I mean, and there's nothing they like doing better than fucking riding down the goddamn road, you know, all over their property, nobody telling them what the fuck to do. I don't think they get on board with that. I think the liberals get on board with that one. We all, and by the way, I'm not trashing liberals because we all get on board with dumbass shit at some point. There'll be each year, the amount of wildlife that gets killed by people driving cars, they'll get on it somehow like that. Um, all right, badass thing I shouldn't own. Professional video. Well, here's one for you. If everybody is microchipped and somebody kidnaps your kid and puts them in the car, then you know where the car is and then they could tell the car to drive the police station. That's how they'll sell it to you. Uh, bad. That's why you should microchip your kid and have somebody else drive your fucking car because nothing bad will ever happen except we'll control every decision that you ever make. 